As I was infantry main during my first 4k UKs, I wanted to know what is the best civilization for infantry. People have many different opinions on this. Some say Rome is best, some say France is best, and some even say the new civilization Greece is best. So I used my mathematical genius Asian brain. <laughs> nah, I'm just being sarcastic. But what I did was an extensive research and analysis for the past few days. Not only I calculated the various case of scenarios including different equipment phases, which actually impacted the civilization for infantry, but I also looked into the core coding of this game itself, the damage formula. Hello Roman, my name is Bilek and welcome back to Rise of Kingdoms. The screen you see here might be a little bit confusing, but as I go through here, you will understand the true meaning of the base stat and how the combat works. The first, we have the uh, civilization based stat. Here we have just example civilization tech and equipment bonus. I am using uh, this equipment as a reference but i did calculate various types of equipments which i will be showing you later in this video and i also assume that legendary equipments are iconic so the here are the iconic adjusted statistics and here we have the final total stat with the equipment bonus and also iconic adjusted from here we could uh, simply add these three numbers and assume that greece has the highest stat and the second best is rome france is the worst civilization when it comes to infantry but it doesn't really work like that if we take a look into the actual damage formula which is shown on the screen this formula was featured and tested in the wick gaming channel and also fleece channel and i did my own study on this formula itself when we see the formula like this it doesn't really make sense you don't really understand what the heck is going on here which is understandable that's what i did i didn't understand it initially so in order to understand this uh, formula i contacted contacted the creator of rock simulator speka by the way shout out to speka for helping me to make this video and uh, understand this formula to its core and so i'm going to simplify this formula for you guys and here we have the simplified version basically this formula says that the damage you do equals to the number of troops you have uh, multiplied by total attack stat. This attack stat is this base stat, not this uh, percentage, but this base stat that we are talking about here. Uh, divided by enemy defense stat and uh, HP stat multiplied each other. This is also the base stat that we are talking about here. And it is multiplied by X. Uh, here on the top, we had the number of number two, but I marked it here X because this X number is uh, not constant number. It is variable in this equation in order to balance out the game. And it is multiplied by square root of your initial troop capacity divided by remaining troops that you currently have. If we see this formula, this formula is not really a linear formula, but it is a square root formula with the multiplication and division. What we can imply from this is that adding up the stat in order to make conclusion is not gonna work, but instead we need to multiply these base stats in order to calculate the true impact, which is shown here. This number you see here is multiplication of these three stats. And I know it is kind of a scary number, it's a mess, but uh, this is what's going on behind the scene in, in the actual coding of the Rise of Kingdom game. Judging by this, Greece has the most amount of impact to the damage formula. And the second best is Viking. France is now the third best. If we see here, it was the worst total. Now France is the third best. And Japan is the worst civilization out of uh, infantry civilization. We can safely conclude that Greece is the best civilization for infantry. It doesn't matter if you are garrisoning, rallying, or playing on open field. It is simply going to trade better than the other four civilization just based on the damage formula. Now that we understood the damage formula and how the base stats uh, impacted, I went ahead and uh, did some various types of calculation with the different equipment case of scenarios. And I'll just talk about the final results instead of going over them all. It showed that highlighted in green, Greece was the number one civilization when it comes to infantry. Uh, the base that impacted the damage formula the most highlighted France here in blue because France yielded a bit of interesting result. Let me move here. Okay, with the most end game equipment of infantry, France was second best on all previous simulations. Fr France was third best when it comes to the utmost late game equipment maxed out. 
France become the second best civilization. And I also found out that Karak humility, crit Karak humility performed better than Eternal Knight, non crit. So for infantry players out there, you can stick to Karak humility for a long time, and you only need to change your uh, pants when you have crit Eternal Knight. Until then, the Karak humility is going to be best equipment choice for you. So here we are talking all about theory. In order to verify this theory, we need an actual test. So I ran some tests and compared uh, Greece civilization with Vikings. As we know, Greece was number one and Vikings was number two. And they had uh, a difference of 1.3% of difference. In order to have this test controlled, I only use this set of uh, legendary equipment that you that you see here on the screen. And I didn't use any accessories because accessory adds up that RNG. And I also did not use any talent because talent also adds up some RNG. And this test confirmed our theory. Greece actually won against uh, Vikings when they are dueling with the no RNG environment. So we can safely assume that our theoretical calculation was uh, correct. In conclusion, Greece is the best civilization when it comes to infantry judging by the base that impact on the damage formula but not everyone should go greece i recommend only high spender or wells to choose greece if they are pure infantry main and for f2p and low spenders france is going to be the best choice just because of the hospital healing speed by 20%. basically you are sacrificing around 1.5 percent trade difference with 20% healing speed. Uh, regarding Rome, Rome as a civilization was interesting. Rome did have the highest defense stat possible. If, if we multiply the defense and the uh, HP stat, Rome had the highest, which implies that Rome is the tankiest infantry civilization. But on the other hand, they don't really do that much damage back to your opponent as opposed to Greece or France civilization. And for open field, Ottoman Empire is very good open field civilization. But if you see the theoretical calculation, Ottoman Empire, as a pure infantry main player, your base stat will be much lower than those uh, civilization that is designed for infantry. On average, Ottoman Empire is going to perform 8, 8 to 9% less than uh, infantry specific civilization. And this 5% skill damage and this 5% uh, troop march speed is not going to do you justice. Highly recommend high spender and wells go for Greece and F2P low spender go for France. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Stick around for more contents like this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Peace.